Welcome to Trucking with Fitz. Today we're gonna to do two loads. We're gonna to go to Mason City. A little bit of a different one to go from Mason City then uh, to Shell Rock with a single axle 25 foot trailer uh, on our trailer. And then we do it at Ankeny and uh, we do it all with, uh, again today with this rental truck. Stay tuned for some trucking. Good morning. We're in this rental International Pro Star day cab. And this morning we got a weird one. We're in Mason City. And uh, well, we're doing something different. We're, we are picking up a trailer. I'm assuming it's a short single axle flatbed that's going to shell rock of all places so I need to get to the garden center apparently this could get interesting so I'm gonna get over there and we'll show you more later this is our weird one yes I know I didn't twist my straps I am NOT going very far I'm not going very fast. We're good to go. We are good to go. All right. I like it. Change up, change it up. And just like that, we're empty again. No, I didn't show any of it. I didn't. They, they were waiting for me and it took like a minute and we were out of there. <laughs> so yeah, no, I didn't record it. Any of you guys ever been in here? Nard Shell Rock? Mostly a dry van location, but they have, it's like all the pavers and concrete products all uh, come through here. Hard to see around that turn. At any rate, our next goal is to get back to the yard, so hopefully we can do that quickly. Seems we haven't been coming into the yard lately. I'm gonna show it to you. Just for old time's sake. Oh, we're gonna grab trailer number 400, 400, uh, yeah, let's say the other way, 422, 422, which is right over here. We're gonna go to Ankeny. Looks just fine. Next, we're gonna find a place to put this thing. And then we're gonna go inside, get our paperwork, and ask if we can have a load for tomorrow. Hopefully, we can. 
Well, we're back at the yard one more time. I didn't record any of the Ankeny. Uh, just relaxing a little bit. Uh, still in the, the rail truck's doing good. Uh, we got this trailer for tomorrow. It's uh, going to Fort Dodge. This is the load that, well, I said I got, I got offered this load earlier. It was going to take too long, so I declined it. And um, got that Ankeny. But the same load, so we're going to take this tomorrow and uh, run it to Fort Dodge on the weekend. Make a couple extra bucks. Where I would usually be doing repair work and maintenance on my truck. And instead, I'm going to make some money. So... If doing this works out, that takes the uh, the sting off of the payment. Definitely takes the sting off the payment. Even with the truck sitting, to make more money. Gross revenue, at least. Oh, we're gonna go weigh this out, but I'm not gonna take you with me. We're just gonna finish. This, this video today has sort of been a weird one. I need to get back to recording more stuff, a little more interesting things, so I apologize. But got a lot going through my head right now. Um, so, yeah. Truck's not been worked on. It's gonna be worked on middle of next week. And uh, I may just have them. If this is working out, I, want, I need to find out what the fuel economy actually is. Uh, I did a first fill up today. I will fill up on the way back tomorrow. Back from Fort Dodge. And uh, when I figure out how much the fuel economy is getting, I'll have a little bit better idea. Obviously, that's just one fill up, so that's not really representative. Um, it's windy today, so I'm probably not getting that great a fuel economy. But... At any rate, we're going to figure this out, um, get some real-world numbers, uh, make some decisions for how long we're going to keep this, and, well, I won't say anymore. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching today, guys. Comment down below what you think this international gets for fuel economy with our driving. And we'll leave that in the comments and uh, hit the thumbs up button and we'll see you on the next one.